Welcome back everybody to the YouTube channel. Today we got a good one. We have a viewer request to talk about grading and drainage and I'm going to start working on those. So if you have any other requests make sure that you leave a comment or, and hit that like button and we will do our best to try to do any home inspection content with your request. So today is grading and drainage. So the comment was says, said something along the lines of, can you show us how it's supposed to be done correctly? Because all we do is write up exactly how it's not supposed to be. So we're on like a 1960s, 1970s home here. And what really stuck out to me was how well the grading and drainage is. It's never going to be perfect on a 1960s or 1970s home because the homes sink over time. And then also we built them more flat. People like to add in these raised gardens here. So we have this raised garden, which actually puts a negative slope towards the property. But what this homeowner did was separate the flower bed from the, the structure and added in rock bread and French, a French drain system. So any excessive water that heads this way, the water will start to flow and head back towards the street. So you're not getting an excessive amount of moisture headed towards the structure. So this right here is really well done. And why I say it's not perfect, because the soil is right at the brick line. And whenever the soil is right at the brick line, what that does, it, it allows possible moisture intrusion into the property. I said possible, but this home's a little bit older. And when we were inside, we didn't see any types of moisture whatsoever. So really well done on this side of the structure. So on the other side of the structure here, uh, one of the things that we noticed was, uh, you know, the flower beds real high, and then also uh, the soil is pretty high along the side of the structure here. So this might need to be improved a little bit. We're going to keep an eye on it. But what we have here is they created a swell to let the water travel around the structure. So at the very end over here, you do have a dip where water can build up in this location, but it's far enough away from the structure, it won't cause any issues. The biggest issue that it could probably cause is more of like mosquito movement uh, to the property. So what we're gonna do is maybe just make a suggestion to tie this low spot into the French drain system they already have. And you can see it's actually right in line where all the pipes are headed towards the street. So really well done on this side. They've done the best they could for what they've been given. Hey guys, if you like these types of videos, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. That's how we know we're doing well. And then also it helps grow the channel and ESIS gets paid. One of the things that we spotted on the exterior of the structure is we have a primary drain line and you can see they have it terminating right into the ground. We don't know if they're actually having this terminate just into the ground or the French drain system. How you know it's the primary is normally on these older properties, they send the primary outside close, close to the ground and then also you have the secondary up here. So if you ever see any water coming out of here, that means that you have water pouring in your attic. The condensation from your main unit is pouring into the attic. So uh, what, what would be a good idea is actually to raise this pipe up and have it pointed further away from the structure, about 36 inches. So less likely for termite movement, moisture into the property, and it won't get clogged so water would travel up this whole pipe. So a little improvement here, not a, not a major issue, but it could cause a major issue if we didn't uh, fix this right away. So on this side of the structure, same, same idea where the flower bed is raised, uh, not as pronounced on that side, but they did the same thing. You can see how all the gutters are tied into the French drain system around the structure and they're all headed towards the street too as well. So there is a negative drainage away from the property. So the main goal with grading and drainage is to have a minimum of a 1% grade. So water just is always traveling away. The biggest movement indicators in Houston, Texas, or I think actually in Dallas, Texas too, those are the two main areas where I, I've learned to inspect is water and it crazy, causes a lot of movement in our soil. So the best thing to do is try to mitigate the water as best as you can. You're never going to be perfect like the brand new 2020 properties, but if your older structures do everything you can to keep the soil low around the foundation, but at a negative slope the best you can. If you can't get that negative slope, then you want these French drains to take it further away. Okay, so on uh, headed to the backyard, one of the first things that we notice is on this side of the structure where it probably gets the least amount of sun because you have the, the, the actual structure itself and then you have the fence here. So it doesn't get a lot of sun, so it takes a little bit longer for the soil to dry out. So what they did, instead of just having like a muddy mess, is they added in a bed of rock that helped drain the water 
uh, towards that swell that we saw on the front side of the structure. So really good idea if you're having a lot of like dead grass or uh, muddy areas. It's good to add in a heavy bed of rock. I like the midnight rock, the smaller rock, but this is, does a really good job too. It will allow the water to head away from the structure and move a little bit smoothly. So a really good job on this side. Here we go. So on the back side of the property here, we have a really, I'd say, funky yard, but beautiful yard. You know, they did a really, really good job with this yard. But the biggest thing is, is you can see that there is several low spots on the structure and then how our structure, the backyard and how the water's traveling through. Well, the very first thing you notice they did is they added a French drain system again, or a surface drain, whatever you like to call it. And it's going to take all this excessive water and take it away which is nice. If you do have these and you do have water build up in them, one of the things that you wanna do is throw in like some chlorine tablets or like bleach, and that will help keep that mosquito population down. So I noticed there's a little bit of standing water and mosquitoes love that type of stuff. So you wanna make sure that you throw in some sort of cleaning product in there. Um, some people would disagree for environmental issues, but I don't know what's worse, mosquitoes or a little bit of chlorine to the earth. Uh, the next thing too, same thing on the side on the back side of the property that we had on the front side of the property is you have this really raised up flower bed. Well, a lot of people what they do wrong is they add this raised up flower bed, but then raise it all the way to the structure. Well, that again adds a lot of termites and uh, moisture invited into the property. Did the same thing, added that rock bed separation with a drain system away from the structure. So really well done. Also, you can see that this area could have been dammed from the, you know, raising this backyard and adding all these bricks. So any water that say projected over the gutters or didn't make it in the gutters and fell on the pavement here, they have a drain system here too as well. So as you're inspecting, one of the biggest things you always want to realize, you know, if you're not a home inspector or even a buyer, is you want to try to visualize how water is traveling around your structure. Because if you can visualize that, that's your number one issue that can cause foundation movement and the most damage. So uh, really well done by this seller and it's a really good looking yard. So please again, if you like this type of content, uh, make sure that water is traveling across away from your structure and please hit that like and subscribe button and catch us on the next one.